All right, guys, we're back with another set 11 TFT. So we got a decent little opener here. We have some AP items, so it makes me kind of lean towards wanting to do an AP type comp. Um, Lucky Gloves is probably going to be a pass. Pumping up would be good. I'm actually passing the crowns. This would be good too as well. I'm going to go Pumping Up. We're going to try to do a carry. Reroll. So we're going to do like you. We're going to put you back here. Do that. And do it like this. We're going to try to either make a Zoe or a Sorok type carry. One of the two. This is a very standard team comp, guys, I'm showing you here. If you haven't watched any of my other videos or even been watching any other YouTube videos where we do this, it's a very classic reroll comp where you can do. I might even actually have it in here. So this would be like your late game comp. You'd substitute out you. So we're actually just going to clear this. So what you're looking for is you're going to be looking for uh, Janna. You want Nico. You're going to want Where's Ribbon Ribbon. You want Zoe. Those are like your main for that. Then your three stars, you're going to get Soraka, Diana, uh, Zoe. And then down into here, like you can cut in the least in layer. This is your primary team comp, though. And then down to here is where you cut in like your additional units. If you're core seven, that's your core seven. You play that, and then you pretty much just pump whichever carry you decide to go with, whichever one you're hitting more of. Who do we just fight? Mr. T? Yeah, okay. So yeah, this would be your early comp. Like, you can swap in Teemo for the additional trick shot. Um, which wouldn't be a bad call, but our Jax is kind of our strongest unit, so I don't really want to get rid of him. But you go like Teemo, and you play with these two. So this is your starting comp would be exactly these units. Because I start off them, I just figured it'd be the easiest early game team comp. Then you start plugging and playing your units. The bad thing is that, like, anybody with no real direction in their game of what they want to do will be jumping into Storm Weaver. So it's going to be contested at some point. Like, Storm Weaver's got to be the most played comp in the game because there's so many, like, flexible ways you can play it. And anyone that's, like, not hitting their units, so say, like, someone's, like, playing Ghost and they're just not hitting and they're contested, they'll, like, jump into, like, more often than not, I'll see them, like, jump into Storm Weaver as a default. So I went from like being the only person playing Story Reaver to having three people playing it with me by the end of the game. It's just like, it's like, you're like, what is going on? Like, so it's good to put your foot down so people see you're playing it and then hopefully they pivot to different classes. This is, this is, I don't know, man, this seems so pointless to me. This seems absolutely pointless to me. Like for one round too, like, I don't know. I don't get it. Don't pretend to get it. Alright. Also, guys, if you knew we're coming back, we'll do the housekeeping now. Drop the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Uh, if you like or dislike my videos and my shenanigans, drop a comment. If you're, like, engaging with the community, usually there's a lot of people throwing messages back and forth. We have a lot of fun responding to those. And, uh, yeah. Welcome if you're new, for sure. At this time of this recording, we're actually one shy of 500 subs, which is absolutely mind-blowing to me, so thanks for all the support, guys. When I made this back in November 23, I didn't even think I was going to get 50, so it came a long way. I enjoy TFT, and I enjoy doing these videos, so yeah, let's keep it up. Let's get it. I mean, if anything, we got a lot of gold there. We didn't kill anything. Build a bud? Yeah, that's insane. He has a strong opener for a ghostly comp. This is going to be huge for us. Late game with our comp, if we actually hit our units, it's going to be massive. Just going to actually hit the units now. Diane is a big pickup for us. The item is also good. She's gone. Oh, it's going like around the world for her. The thing that sucks is like when, you're, when you play Story of Your Openers, you're kind of usually stronger than a lot of other people. So you'll find yourself being the last pick on like almost every carousel. Last to second to last. That's a big pickup for us. Big pickup for us. So we're going to start putting that item together on her. Sure, why not? Put that out. Put you out. I'm going to give you this. Oops. <laughs> we're going to merge you two units together to make one. That's it, guys. That's your starting team comp when you build this. 
Then you transition to getting rid of your story weaver. You and you, as soon as you get Zoe and Zyra. That's that. That's how. That's how she starts, guys. I don't know if people go really red. Red Kale. I've only. I only really see AP because like the two units next to her will get that my bit additional ability power, which is a lot. And if you're lucky enough to get him three stars. Oh. Oh. Oh no, we're getting hurt here. Yeah, I won that one. Yeah, if you have two units next to her that are, are AP, it's good. To, I always find the purple's the way to go. Or blue, whatever you call it. Looks like purple to me. People say blue kale, and this does not look blue to me. That's like a violet. <laughs> I'd say purple. Purple kale. That's a good pickup. Not really money we want to spend, but I can't ignore that because it's one of our main tanks. So it's going to be like Nico, Diana, Riven. I think everyone sees what I'm doing. Let's see if anyone's picking up our units yet. Does everyone got, just cause got a three star Yon already? Or Yasuo, sorry. It's crazy. We are so underwhelming. Luckily, we're not really having anyone competing with us on our story viewer, though. So we actually could hit our units for the first time ever. I've done a, I've done a Zyra reroll. I'd like to try Zoe. She's gonna be the harder one to pop off with. So we'll see what what the game gives us. But I'd like to do Zoe. I've done a Zyra video already too, showing that like two cost rerolls can be effective. And yeah, this is just the standard build, guys. This is like something you can do. I think it's probably like B or A tier, maybe. It's not meta by any means. But if it's open, it's good to try to top four at this. One thing I'm a little bit worried about is Prismatic Party. I feel like we're going to get kind of weak with that. This is necessary. There's just some kids playing outside my apartment right now. They're like, they walking by my window. My kids are funny. They don't make any sense. Kids are like so out of breath and trying to talk. And they just go... That's all I hear. It's just like <laughs> them mumbling as they walk by. My dog's tripping out because he hates people walking in front of the window. You aren't barking, that's why. Alright, so that's a good item. Also, guys, I built my team comp around the items I got right off the rip. So if I was getting, like, all 80 items, I probably wouldn't have pushed the comp like this. But because we're getting, like, AP hybrid items, this is a very good comp to play with it. You pretty much watch any pro player. I didn't get any gold there. Missed my interest. I'm not going to sell anybody for that. Um, there we go. So there's our upgrades, guys. We do that. We do that. You guys are gone. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, but if you guys watch like most professional players, like far better than myself, they'll normally like gear their team comp around the items that they're starting off with. Like, and I've said this in other videos. Like, if you start off with like a couple BF swords and like a bow and like crit gloves, and you go to like start rolling arcanists, you're probably gonna have a bad time. Because if like Here's what happens. You either try to aim for Pandora's and get Pandora's, and then you have to reroll those items, which takes a while. And that takes away from one, like, I call them like global augments, where like, it's something that could like, benefit you for, like, game-wide. So yes, you're going to get optimal items, but you're, you're sacrificing optimal items for, like, a, a team buff, attack speed, econ. Like, you're giving up something to get optimal items when you could just play your team comp around the items you got off the beginning, you know what I mean? So it's like, if you, if you get AP items, you play an AP comp, then you don't have to worry about freaking Pandora's, because you're already, you're working with that comp, that gives you one additional, um, oh my gosh, they're just really trying to push his gloves down our throat. Ideal items, that's kind of the way I'm leaning right now. Not doing Warden. We're going to do ideal items. We're going to do that on U2. Do not hate. You out. We have four story so we can actually put you out as well. And Ribbon will be replacing Jax in the near future. And that's our team comp right now, I guess. Um, but yeah, back to the previous point. Like, don't screw yourselves over with Pandora's. It's good as a backup if in case like you, you start building team comp with the items that you're giving off the beginning, and all of a sudden the game just starts giving you the opposite direction items. Then yes, maybe, but... Or if you're trying to do something like Yo and Reroll, then you can guarantee you're getting those Titans and stuff. 
Uh, do I used to play Pandora's a lot when I was like in gold and prismatic and then my climb? And the further up I got, and I realized like the importance of like the augments and how, like, how it can help you control a board. And watching like people like their challengers, like the uh, highest I've ever hit is masters. So, like seeing people that are challengers playing it and these Pandora's is kind of like a wasted augment in my eyes. Once again, take that like a grain of salt. Do do whatever makes you happy. That's what the game's about. You can play anything you want to. So we have that. We're gonna want to get you this in hopes of getting a giant's belt. <laughs> if not, we're gonna screw ourselves over. <laughs> but we want redemption. We want a. Uh, I think like what they go with is like redemption, dragon claw, and bramble is I think the best build for Diana when you're playing this team comp. Just just she has like the most resistances from both AD and AP, and she's also getting the regen and um, the decreased damage. So it's just like a really good trifecta for her when you're playing this team comp. And obviously trying to three star is gonna help you out huge, but this guy ran through my board and gave me the thumbs up. I don't know why. So yeah, if you guys get this uncontested, and like I said, normally I have like three other people playing Storm Weaver. We are lucky enough to hit this uncontested, not many of our units are sharing their traits. So we might actually be able to hit this team comp pretty good. Our, our goal is Zoe 3, but we'll take what we can get. Any one of these belts will do. This one's probably gone, like immediately. This is the one we're going to aim for. I don't see Kaisa last too long here. I'd be surprised if that Kaisa doesn't get taken. Well, we're going to go for the 4 gold. We can actually even hold on to her. Try to cut her in our team comp somehow. That blows my mind that no one picked her up. That's crazy. Um, a few, do a reroll here. There's the unit we need. So let's push you up. We're gonna pull you now. We're gonna pull you. The double heavenly buff. Spike our tank. We're getting a little weaker on the front line because I'm pulling these units, but. Yeah, we got ideas. We got ideas, guys. Ah, no, we're not playing it, so... Mm. We need to win this one by this Janna. We need to win for the Janna. I don't think we're winning this one. Mm, maybe. We do have the ideal items in the background. They're just all, like, single-cost units. <laughs> Single star. Yeah, Diana, this is like, this is the way to go with her, guys. So once again, it's a very standard build. This is our team comp. We have hit all these units now. That's our core seven. And then you build around that. What I like to do, and this is just me. Ah, oh, yuck. I need to pick you up. What I like to do is I like to do four Dragon Lords in with this. Well, the reason why is you get an Ultras 3 when you play Rockin' up front, and Lee Sin is just kind of there to be an additional Dragon Lord. But that'll give you three Dragon Lords, and if you get like Fluke out, you get like an emblem as your fourth fourth uh, emblem. Uh, fourth Augment, sorry. Third Augment. Jeez, where's my brain at? Third Augment, if you Fluke out, you get like a Dragon Lord. You can get the Dragon Lord floor, which when that lands, your back line, like these three carries, Kale, Zoe, and whoever else you have, will be slapping. Ouch. Yeah, our front line's too squishy right now. It's okay. It's gonna be hard because we're gonna be up against ghostly team comps and they're gonna cut down that dino like rapid speed. Don't know how we can prevent that. There's really no counter for ghostly. Bunch of MR. Because ghostly, their specters are magic damage. I don't know, like, it's kind of grasping at straws, but. We're going to hold this for another belt, because we want to get Soraka with uh, Morellos. Because I don't have any burn, and she's going to be the best holder for it, because of her AoE ability. So we'll plan for that. Janna's probably going to be itemless. Must be a more lucky gloves. None will escape my grasp. Is he gold? That was a nice pickup. Um, grab you. 
going to roll up here. 30 gold left. Perfect. Now we got our double dragons. Double dragon. If you're old, you'll remember that game. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Alright. So we're weak as crap because uh, we're almost all freaking single star units, but we're still going to do decent damage. And this is how we spike. This guy rolled into us a little bit late. Kind of tilting, but that's okay. They obviously were contested and jumped out of it. Don't blame them. What do you have this tiny bit deadly? Wow. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So this guy here was... He's winning. He must have been in the entire time. Called Chaos, Rain Relics, Endor's item. No. No. Go for the gamble. I love it. We just get one additional team size. Seven experience. Oh my gosh. Bruh. We definitely need some now. Ghost Reaper, no. Jeez, guys. You know what? We can bring back that. Oh, no. No, we're not doing that. We are made by Come on, game. I'm Zoe. What's your name? So we are a two-star Zoe, which should help. That's kind of the carry we want to build around. I don't didn't really plan on building with lucky gloves, but we can take what we can get. Now we're gonna save up hardcore. Because we're actually four two and level eight. We have like a really good opportunity to get like a late game team comp here. We're spiking. I didn't want to sell somebody. I'm glad we won that. Now we just chill. Guys, we just chill. We had to wait till Carousel and then Raptors to find out what we're doing with the final items. We still want to... Man, we gotta get this Diana 2 started. Oh my gosh. Stick to the plan. We have a plan? Ultraus 3 and Dragonlord 3 I think is a bigger upgrade than you right now. We're not going to sell you yet. Hold on to you. I like the idea of you being on a team for the, the two invokers. Yeah, the three altruists is definitely... That's our power spike. Now we're getting 10 more armor and match resistance team-wide. And we're getting 12... 6% more attack speed. And 10% more true damage off the Dragon Lord, so... Yes, I really like playing this with Dragon Lord 6. You guys don't have to follow that part of the build. It's like a choose your own adventure, guys. After you get this, choose your own adventure. Whatever you feel like you're hit, like whatever units you're hitting, they're gonna be your biggest team strength. Push for that. But for me, like I like playing the Dragon Lords. I don't mix it up too too much. I've done like more of an Invoker build. Um, but Dragon Lords are like the cleanest execution because you get that four Dragon Lords with Lee Sin. And although he's just kind of like in the way and sitting up front, <laughs> like he still does a like it's, it's a big buff for your team. So she's gone. Right? Guarantee that. Yeah, you gone, you gone. What do we need here? We needed armor. I think I got that. Mr. T went for the... Yeah, he wanted it. Sorry, Mr. T. Well, you can have an array. That's still good. Alright. So our next... Focus is a giant spell for Soraka into two stars, so she's not completely useless. There's our tank two star. With an item. Feeling good, feeling good. We're actually probably gonna sell both of you. No, we're gonna see if we win first. I'm definitely lean towards Dragon Lords at this point. Because we got the Altruist. Point armor and magic resistance, and then if we get this, we get the stun as well. That stun will make this team comp really pop off because when they're kind of like scaling with this pumping up 40%, that 1.5 seconds gives us a lot of time to get some cast out. So I think that's the way we're gonna go. We're gonna hold on to this, um, this year though, because I don't want this guy pulling any of his ear shenanigans on us. 
We win this. Fine, hold your own. Keep going, girl. You can do it. There you go. That's us. The scaling of this team comp, guys, is absolutely insane. You guys level 9. Is Janna? Yeah, you guys are still both hurting, eh? No Rockas, no Janna's. I mean, if we get two crit gloves and a belt, we'd be pretty happy. I don't know what I'm going to do with these BS swords, though. Double mana and a belt? I could go for that. Put some shred on one of our front lines. Like, the Ionic Spark's actually really good on rocking. For con, sorry. You guys don't play him. Ionic Spark's really good because he jumps into the largest cluster units and he hits and knocks them up. So he disrupts and he applies a debuff. So, pretty OP. So, like, right there, he would have put a debuff on five units, I think he hit. They were close enough to him, so. Should probably invest in that right away since we don't have a tier. Very nice on Spark. I just want to see if we get this belt. Bum, 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 no, no, no. We're going to turn this off because this is just nothing but anxiety and hurt feelings over there. I want to see how we're doing. All right, guys. So our Zoe carry didn't pop off like we wanted to. We wanted that three start so I could show the power of the Zoe, but it's okay. Normally when you do this too, so if you do these two carry builds, you guys want either Zyra and Janna as one type of way to play this where you build them as your carries, or you do Soraka and Zoe. So you either do a two, uh, three class carry champs, or you do two class carry champs. And you pair those two as like the ones you put most of your resources into. Uh, so no belt, so you're gonna get this. And next up is tank item. And then we're gonna grab you. Four I was telling you guys about, so we can put you out if we two star you. How do you like this now? Yeah. Let's give it to Lee. Give it to the Lee. So this is where we got the three altruists, the four dragon lords. That's a big upgrade, guys. The stun gives us so much free time to cast here. See the difference, guys? It's insane. Bum, 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 ba, da, 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 da. Yeah, we need to level up some units here. I love Call of Chaos. I've very, very rarely been disappointed with it. 150 health, AP, 50% attack damage. Smart me would say AP, but the health is kind of what we need. Where are you? One Soraka? We're so far off on you. I'm gonna roll down until I hit her. Zyra, ah, we got to just start. We can stop there. We can start. There. We're gonna sell you. We're not gonna have any room for you. Alright. Well, this is us, guys. That's what we're looking at. This is our team coming right to the end. Oh, that's scary. So we should get that stun here, which will help out. It'll slow down the back line a little bit. So there we go. We got a couple seconds of free damage here. 1.5 to be exact. He does his knockup. He applies the debuff from Ionic Spark. So when he jumps into Ionic Spark, he hit three units, and all of them are getting that magic shred. So then, like, Kale comes in with a blast wave, and she pretty much just decimate them. Very, very OP. People sleep on this. I think it's, yeah, it's in the recommended items too, but people don't put this on rocking for some reason. Very, very important. If you're playing any caster comp, make sure one of your front lines is carrying that, and preferably somebody that jumps into units. So say like we put on Riven, if they had like, well actually yeah, this would be a good spot, if we had on Riven, all of our casters would attack here first. But say we had on like Nico, right, she's over here. Say like two units over here, she's only applying to two people, if the rest of the team's over here, they're not being affected. The con will always dash into the biggest cluster, knock them up in the air, and apply a debuff to everybody, so. Very, very good holder if you're playing a caster comp. 
I might be telling you guys things you already know. I'm, I'm making this video as I'm talking to people that are new to the game. I know there's a lot of people that started in set uh, 11 or in set 10. And they might not know some of the, you know, tips of the trade. Tricks of the trade, sorry. Tips of the trade, was that? Ouch. Lonzo. The plants of death. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. We need this, guys. We need this. It's our biggest pickup here. Morellos? Yes, please. Morellos for our one star Soraka. That's the plan, guys. Excellent. So now we have a team wide burn. Which is a big upgrade because she's going to be also applying her, her spell to a cluster of units. Largest group of enemies, so she'll be applying it underneath usually her cons knockup. We're just getting no love on two star now. I'm gonna just roll my gold here to try to hit her. This game hates me. Unbelievable. Honestly, we should just swap you out for the mythic at this point. We lose the heavenly. Is that really that important? Not really. What's the mythic? No, because we need that because then we, we need the heavenly because we're getting Raka's AP. That's right. Crud. This guy killed us earlier with the time of deadly. Hopefully we don't repeat that. Nope, looks like it hurts again. That guy's got a lot of Strakas on his bench. He's the holder. He's the culprit. They are the culprit. I don't know who they are. Mm, I regret not taking that Mystic, but whatever. One Raka, guys. Come on, game. Who is eating up all the Rakas? Not you. You got a couple. Not you. And you're holding. You were holding a couple. Jeez, man. You gotta stop rolling. Two star recon, you grab my units, man. What are you doing? Not enjoyable. Double stuns? That's so annoying. I actually lost this last time because someone had a very similar call and also the double stuns. He's got a new recruit, so he's playing with 10 people. I just took a double loss there. My ghost lost as well. Jeez, there's still so many people in this. So who do we lose to? I am Rex. Was your stun as big as mine? Yeah, Dragon Lord 4. Son of a bee. Son of a beep. We're getting ready to pull the plug on this Soraka. Art is empty without empathy. Be my cat. It was meant to be, guys. It's meant to be, Raka, you can hold sit in the corner and think about what you did. Sit in the corner and think of what you did to us. You made us get rid of you. Swapped out your AP for a two star. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I think we made the call there, bud. Plus, with his big circle with that debuff and the burn, I think that was probably the best play we could have done. We lose 20 AP, but like, in the greater good, we just got two star way out of it. Yeah, that's kind of. Kind of the way she goes. Mr. T's crushing it. Oh, yeah, there you are, Strong. Fighting you for sure, eh? 
if that's the case, we want to do it like this. Put him in as a temporary hold as well. You're going to walk in, knock him up. Well, he's going to apply the burn to everybody pretty quickly here, hopefully. Okay, Silas got through. No biggie. We still got our stun coming, so this is going to play out really well. Oh, great. Oh, my gosh. The trick shot stun was not long enough. That was painful. You guys need to start eliminating each other, man. Sick of seeing you guys all in my game. Back away from that entirely. Come on here. Should have tried the roll for level 9. I should have been saving this entire time instead of chasing a freaking Raka. We're up against you. You got a scary comp through and through. These we just don't have, like this double stun is going to kill us. He's got one extra unit. Technically he's got two extra units on us. He's got 11 units on the board. I had nine. Yeah, it's just too crazy, man. Somebody better have lost there. If I don't get top three, I'm going to be furious. There we go. Ryan allowed Arcanist. Help us. Kinda, not really. Um, I'll take it. You could have grabbed a mythic. A little late for that though. Um, jeez, I don't think we have enough damage here. We just screw, scrolled over our Zoe. What am I doing here? What am I doing? We fighting you. We do like that. Swap you two though. I think that might work. That might help a little bit. We had a couple three stars. Like if we had our tank three star, we we might have actually won this. If we save properly, like it was an econ an issue in the end, like we just didn't econ properly, so yeah. We deserve a third there. Guys, that was uh, us trying to showcase the Zoe reroll though, but... Oh, we got second! Flukes! <laughs> like and subscribe, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.